Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today, I received my car dash camera, the A118-C. C is for capacitor. This camera has a capacitor instead of a battery. This is a better option in my case because I live in South Texas, which is sunny and hot 364 days of the year. Batteries and the Texas heat doesn't mix well and you will end up with a dead camera or worse, the battery can explode and you don't want that. So let's go ahead with the unboxing. The A AA18C is a generic name for a camera that has a lot of brand names. And that one I have here has a brand called Blue Sky C. And comes in a generic box and as you can see here, there is no marking for the A118C on it. It just says car dash camera, professional, and traveling data recorder. Alright, so let's open it up. So here it is, the camera. Which is a wedge shape and low profile. And what I like about this is that it directly sticks to the windshield using this red double-sided adhesive tape. You can easily adjust the position of the camera up or down which really depends on the angle of your windshield when you mount it. It has a one and a half inch HD LCD screen and right here are the slots for the USB GPS and AV output. A vent on this side and on the other side is the micro SD card slot and the mic. Now here's the lens of the camera. A 1080p 170 degree wide angle lens. Is another piece and depending on your setup you can use this to hide the wires in my case my windshield has that what they call a frit band in the middle and I have to place the camera lower and I'm probably going to use this piece and we have the USB cable to hook up the camera to your computer then here is the power cord. We have some extra adhesive tape and also some mounting clips and some string which I think is used to help you remove the camera when it's already mounted in your windshield. Here is the user manual, good enough that you will be able to understand on the install and the use of the camera. Now, here we are for the installation. I will fire up the camera first and check out the menu and settings. The included power cord has a generous length and you'll be able to find a plug for this. It automatically turns on when you plug it in. I'll wait for a few seconds. you to insert your micro SD card well we'll do that later all right clicking on the menu you will see options uh, for resolution loop recording HDR EV exposure motion detection record record audio date stamp GPS G sensor date and time settings time zone 
auto power off, beep sound, language, TV mode, frequency, screen saver, card formatting, default setting, car number, version. There's a lot of options here. What I did, I made sure I set the highest resolution, the 1080 FHD, which is a full high definition. And I also changed the, the date and time. I turned off motion detection and GPS. I'm not going to install the GPS in this unit. I turned, it on, I turned an audio recording and the date stamp on. Changed the time to my time zone, which is central. And the TV mode, I changed it to NTSC. Also, I bumped up the exposure to plus one just because the default, the zero, is a little bit too dark for me. So let's start the install. First off, make sure that the area you're going to mount the camera is clean and dirt and oil free. I used a glass cleaner for this and wipe it down dry. I'm going to install this on the right side of the rear view mirror and because of this dotted band, I will need to use the other piece that will hide the wires and the install will look more like original equipment. So I'll just stick the camera like so and hold it there for a few seconds. And then I'll install the accessory piece like so. It has to fit on this little notch. It has to have a good hold. I need to push down for a few seconds. There you go, that's it. All right, let's try it out. You can unhook the camera from the mount by pushing it up like so, and you'll be able to plug in the power supply. So we'll be able to route the wire to our headliner by pushing it in. This way. It's a tutorial to do stuff. So we're just gonna slide it in like so and hide it. So we'll just run the wire here by like by pushing it ends. inside the headliner. This one I can take this off. Then we can pull out this A pillar post cover here. Like that. There you go. Now if you have airbags, you wanna make sure that the wire is going to be behind the airbags like in my case I have to put it behind you can also pull out the weather stripping on your door so that you can easily route the wire. 
then just reinstall it by pushing it back in. There you go. Now, now you will not be able to see any wires and how to snap back in this cover. That's a clean install guys. Now I just need to route the wire behind the glove compartment box across to the middle console. And this is where I'm gonna plug it in. The wire is long enough to be able to that I'll be able to do that. Just like so. Plugging it in and we're done I'll just push in the plastic wire cover and this camera is ready to go and looks like it is the original part of the car that is the one reason why it went with this camera no suction cups no wires dangling around all right let's fire it up when you turn on your ignition the camera should automatically turn on and start recording. Now we're gonna go outside and where we, I show you the view of the camera from the outside and you see you can barely see it. So now let's check out some test footage. Overall, this camera is an excellent buy. If you're looking for a dash camera that is with a little bit of time to have a clean but easy install, it is high definition 1080p which translates to a clear video that you'll be able to read license plates, identify cars or persons, or would be an excellent witness to anything that is in front of your car while you are driving or while your car is on. This A118 Dash C dash camera costs anywhere from 60 to 70 dollars at Amazon.com and it is worth it. 
Remember, it is better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Thank you for watching this video and I'll put up a link below to where you can purchase this camera. Please subscribe to my channel so that I can deliver more videos of everyday life hacks and product reviews. Thanks for watching.